San Jose State, the Spartans. And if you've watched this program for any length of time, you know how much I appreciate Brent Brennan, right? Uh, the dude is fantastic. And last year's team was quite the conundrum. I could not figure this out. I could not figure out this team. Their talent was so much better. Now, obviously, you did have the death of a teammate in the middle of the year. That may have made things a little bit crazy, but let's look at the numbers heading into this season. Last year, 7-5, and five, but their postgame win expectancy was 5.35 and 5.65. Not great. That can't be right. That doesn't add up to what I... Well, whatever. I must have typed that in wrong. I think it was. I think it might have been six point three five and five point six five. Regardless, they weren't great even with the numbers, right? Returning production this year is number fifty one, uh, just over or just under sixty five percent. Number nine in offensive returning production. Number one hundred eight defensive returning production. The defense was better than the offense last year. So, eh, okay. Uh, let's start on offense. The quarterback, Shevin Cordero, he returns uh, along with 100% of their offensive line snaps. I've never seen that before. They're bringing back everybody on the offensive line. Uh, the team was all over the place, like statistically. Uh, number 87 PPA per pass, but number 27 passing success. That doesn't make sense, right? I mean, it's just, it's so weird. Uh, another part of this, like they're number 26 rushing success, but number 72 PPA per rush. They threw the ball on 60% of their plays, which was number 10 in the country, uh, but they were number 24 in running the ball. Like how many times they ran the ball per play. Uh, will they change up the focus of the offense and try and make it a little more balanced to maybe create some more success? Who knows at this point? They just they threw it a lot, even though they didn't have... A, let, me, let me say this. Their success rate was great. But as far as the points that they scored... Though that was not great. We'll say that. We'll say that. Uh, just a weird overall season for this bunch. Uh, let's look at the defense here, because that's the part that really got me. Derek Odom, the defensive coordinator, uh, talent on last year's defense was better than what they ended up with number 46 PPA per drive allowed. Uh, that defensive line was talented, number 23 in havoc rate, but they were number f uh, 78 in passing downs PPA, number 70 in third down conversion percentage. Like, I, the predictive metrics, I think, were better than the defense that ended up. I mean, they gave up 43 points to San Diego State. They gave up 41, I think, to Eastern Michigan in the bowl game. Like, they just, there were certain games where they just didn't necessarily look like they wanted to be there. It was very strange. Um, I don't know. They were 2-6 and six against the spread against Mountain West teams. And they were so much more talented than some of those teams. It's just mind-blowing. Um you couldn't count on them to play up to a standard. It was a different version of the team every week. Uh, looking at the, the keys to the season here, they're projected favorites in four games. Um, maybe more. I don't know. I'm looking at a little... I, I, I've got them going six and six. I'll go on and tell you. Their win total is five and a half over at BetUS. Uh, to go over is minus 145. To go under is plus 115. They were number four in turnover margin last year, but number 83 in luck rank. I... This team was so all over the place. Now, will things go better with new defensive faces? Maybe. Uh, they had more talent last year than they will this year, but at least on that side of the ball, who knows? Maybe they just needed some fresh blood in there. Uh, they were number 99 in offensive explosivity, number 75 in defensive explosiveness allowed. Got to find a way to stop the big plays and find a way to generate their own. Uh, the pass defense has got to improve a little bit. They were number 55 in passing success rate last year, but they, they gave up some big plays. They just gave up a, a lot of them, especially to San Diego State in that game. It was wild. Uh, I've got them going 6-6. Six and six. I think the ceiling for this team is 8-4, and four, uh, but I think the floor is like 4-8. and eight. If, if they don't show up in some of these games that I've got them winning, like i got to win over San Diego State. i got to win over Hawaii and New Mexico both on the road. i got to win over Air Force here. Like, this team is the kind that can bounce around and get really good wins or take really bad losses. So I kind of expect them to do the same here. So I I like this bunch. Uh, but 6-6, six and six, make another bowl game. Like, Brent Brennan understands how difficult it is to win at this place. 
and yet he consistently does it. And they've got some pretty good talent this year. I, uh, I'm i buying stock on them, but, but not too much. I'm, I'm going to take the over five and a half on that bunch. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.